and today they will expect something special from number 10, John Conlon. His goal-scoring ability in recent matches has been crucial. And that on a day when David Fitzgerald is listed among the half-back initially, but does now, and it's Richie Hogan, has a look at the post, steadies his feet and drives it over. And the teams are level. Kenny, one point. Claire, one point. Brian Cody almost takes the league campaign very, very seriously. Kilkenny very rarely slipshod in their approach. And I'm sure that Clare are well and truly fired up as well. Why wouldn't they be? And that one is by Aaron Cunningham. And that one is good. Great score. Lovely point by Aaron Cunningham. Hasn't scored in the last couple of matches, but he gets one here and he puts Clare in front. Around about 20,000 here in Semple Stadium this afternoon. A perfect afternoon for hurling. Beautifully taken down. And again, it's David Fitzgerald. They think very highly of him. They've known all about Podge, of course. They're glad to have him back. Why not with scores like that one? Podge announces his return to the starting 15. He's been out with injury for much of last year. He had committed himself to playing football as well. And that one has just gone to the... Oh, it's come off the post and gone back in. Great shot. Darrow Conan with uh, his opening point. Taken down. Lovely distribution from Cunningham to Darrow Conan. Great score. 6 2. Four between them. Back to Killian Buckley playing in midfield today. Not in his usual habitat. On left half back. Up to Kevin Kelly. And Kelly, who got 2 1 against Tipperary early on in this league campaign, gets his first point here this afternoon. And that's an important one. Just three points separate the sides now in the 15th minute. Well, it's been pretty low key so far. Still waiting for the fireworks, I think, in this Alliance League semi final. Two very talented teams. Galvin. Big one in towards Conlon, lurking with intent. And in the back of the net, his fourth goal in this year's Alliance campaign. You cannot take any chances with John Conlon about. And that's the first goal of the day here. And it's 1-6 to three points. Somehow the two defenders, goalkeeper and back, managed to get in a muddle and leave Conlon in. Lester Ryan wins it back, busy as ever. Feeds it forward into the two men inside forward line for them. One of them is John Joe Farrell, yet to really get a ball in there but he's got one now and he's made the most of it good play by John Joe Farrell needs a big game to remind everybody of just what he's capable of it's won by Claire it's won by Colin Galvin quick feet Walter Welch tries to intervene David Fitzgerald wins it back for Claire Derek Holden big giant of a man operating around the middle of the field turned back once again Conlon prods it on to Cunningham, onto his left-hand side, strikes, scores! Super goal. That's a goal and two points now for Aaron Cunningham. 20 minutes are gone, the goals are just four minutes apart, and all of a sudden it's 2-7 for Clare, five points for Kilkenny. What a rasper that one was by Aaron Cunningham. Looks so assured, so confident, and struck it brilliantly. Great start by Clare. Well, this is really a big, big challenge now for Kilkenny. Strapped for players because of injury. Killian Buckley gets it in. TJ Reid's waiting inside. And hits it off a defender somehow. Goal comes out. Pat Kelly robbed. And it was Richie Hogan there who somehow was stopped. Stymied right on the end line. And it ends up being a puck out for Clare. Somehow it stayed out. Hit a defender. Then it was the goalkeeper robbed. And then there was a lovely hook in there by Oshin O'Brien. Brilliant done by the cornerback, the LIT student. One back once again by Kilkenny. Given away there poorly by Killian Buckley. And knocked back into the square again between fullback and goalkeeper. And again, they're in some difficulty. And there's another one, a third goal. And Aaron Cunningham has now got two. 25 minutes are gone. And this is a sensational opening half to this Alliance League semi-final. That full back line is absolutely in a dither back there. No proper communication between goalkeeper and full back line. And 
Aaron Cunningham, the 23-year-old from Wolfton's in Shannon, has got another. Morning Welch rising up into the uh, forwards. TJ Reid goes after it. The shutters come down. Then at that stage, Clare tried to get a whole group of players around. Paul Flanagan falling on the ball that time, waiting for a support player. Into it came Kevin Kelly, loses it. And can Kenny somehow manage to get a clean shot at goal? Maybe Kelly to hand pass it off somewhere. Needed a lot of time, surrounded immediately. John Power then didn't take it into his hands, hit it well, but not. Yeah, he does hit it well enough. He's got it inside the upright and over. First point of the afternoon for John Power. Should have been cleared. There were plenty of backs there, and Power in the end, very effective. Well, there have been questions asked in recent times about how effective this Kilkenny team is. And Kevin Kelly, one of the youngsters who came through the under 21 system, would like to think there's a big future for them. Two for him. He's missing a lot of very vital players this afternoon, but still, a lot of players out there with experience and are not doing the business. Well, now after a, an absolutely wretched first half, Kilkenny will have to get going. You expect them to get going. Tight angle, great score. It's another one for Bear and another one for Conor McGrath. Got three in the first half, and that's the fourth and the first one to come from open play from him. Lost his marker up into the air and over the bar. The backs under pressure. John Power is the one who took it down. Paul Flanagan held him up. 20 meters out, free in. Paul Flanagan really got his hands right around John Power. That was a real wrestler's tackle. So with TJ Reid here, surely thinking about a goal, they're going to pack the goal area. If you're 12 behind, the point doesn't make much of a difference. A goalkeeper had five defenders in there to try and deny TJ Reid. He's got to go for it. He does, and he's got it. They tried their best to stop him, but after 42 minutes from that free, TJ Reid gets Kilkenny's first goal. Off the goalkeeper stick, bounced in past Oshin O'Brien, and it's now 314 to 111. Walter Welch back, wins it, takes control, hit away. Shane Prendergast down towards Reed, being marked there by Brendan Bugler, blocked down by TJ Reed, takes it again, hand passes it to Killian Buckley, tries to get away from David Fitzgerald over his left shoulder over the bar as well brilliantly done Kelly Buckley his first this afternoon so a goal and two points now without reply for Kilkenny and suddenly at 3.14 to 1.13 they're down once again to a more manageable margin to teams Hodge Collins back as a left hand back at this stage up towards Galvin Spoons it forward, taken on by Conor McGrath. Here's Aaron Cunningham to his left if he needs him. He doesn't need him. What a goal. What an absolutely brilliant goal. They don't come much better than that. A goal and five for Conor McGrath. Just look at this again. Pace in the run, direction in the shot, hit with great velocity. And all of a sudden it's 4-16 for Clare. one fourteen for Kilkenny. When have you seen a scoreline like that in recent times? Lester Ryan. One man inside waiting for it. And that's John Joe Farrell. It's a second goal for Kilkenny. And John Joe Farrell has stuck it in the back of the Clare net. 53 minutes are gone. Well, it's one that keeps them just about in touch. 10 points adrift. I can seriously imagine saying that when it's Kilkenny is involved. But here comes Lester Ryan into TJ Reid, worming his way this way and that. Carl O'Connell is the one who caught him with the block, however. Good tackle, good challenge. Rolled up by David Fitzgerald. Outside into open space. One back by Walter Welch. And Walter Welch fires it over the bar. Another for Kenny. 
but they need a couple of goals at this stage to be competitive and he will know it 418 to 215 down Cahill O'Connell Bobby Duggan now would have been disappointed not to start today Galvin has been impressive in fact he's been superb five points for Galvin crowd on its feet out to Chris Bolger once again second half substitute for Kilkenny he's got one he's got another Too many matches. Clare don't win too many matches against Kilkenny. This is one of those special days. And the referee finally blows the whistle as that ball has been hit wide. And I think it is just about all over. It is now, no question about it. David Fitzgerald's team has come from Division 1B, like Waterford last year. And they are in the league final and they have given a most convincing display and they finish here victorious in Thurlis where the final score is Clare, four goals and 22 points Kilkenny, two goals and 19 It's a game we wanted to win and we give it everything and we come out on the right side and